because we need more than a victory on November 3rd. We need a mandate that proves that the past few years do not represent who we are or who we aspire Kamala, Kamala, Kamala. I am in love with Kamala Harris. She is the most fantastic pick that Joe Biden possibly could have made to be the next vice president of the United States. Hello, everyone. I'm John McIntyre with another walking around on my back porch scintillating commentary. The thing I really like about the Kamala Harris pick is there are two things Donald Trump hates, black people and strong women. If you're a woman and you're not a porn star or some subservient ex-playboy model, he hates your ass. So the amount of cartoon steam that's coming out of Donald Trump's ears as a result of a strong black woman being appointed to the vice presidency, or at least the nominee for the Democratic Party, it's killing him. There's cartoon steam coming out of my ears. Please, somebody tell me how to stop the cartoon steam. They must get Pence in here. Melania, please stop the cartoon steam. I mean, it's hysterical. He's already said on Twitter these things about Kamala Harris, that she's whiny, that she's mean, and that she's nasty. This from the nastiest, meanest motherfucker in the history of the presidency who does nothing but whine 24-7 on Twitter. Could it be, wait for it, are you ready for this, that it's the pot calling the kettle black? See what I did there? Trump keeps saying that women in the suburbs, suburban housewives, as he put it, suburban housewives are going to vote for me because they don't want low-income housing in their neighborhoods. So he's imagining Harriet Nelson, June Cleaver, and Donna Reed all getting together with their pretty little aprons or their pretty little pink outfits and going like, what are we to do? The black people are invading the suburbs. Whoa. You know, the modern woman in suburbia works at home or works all day in the city and comes back. These are not scared, frightened, little dainty creatures. But Trump's stuck in the 70s, that whole law and order uh, campaign slogan. That's the 1968 Richard Nixon campaign slogan. He's totally stuck in the 70s, like when he wrote C for colored people next to the applications of black people trying to get into his apartments in New York City. It's a ridiculous state of affairs, but you just heard Kamala say it. We not only need to kick Trump's ass, we need a mandate. We need a landslide like Lyndon Johnson over Barry Goldwater in 1964. Besides, Donald Trump's already got himself a mandate, and his name is Vladimir Putin. You know, I like my vice presidential I like my vice presidential candidates like I like my coffee. Strong, sassy, and creating a hell of a buzz. We're gonna kick this guy's butt and I can't wait to go. <laughs> and that is scintillating commentary.